choosing beggars. We love to hate them. Grab your beverage of choice today. You already know. I mean, you can see plain old water in my cup. I don't even have lemon juice in here. Nothing. Just some plain old water. It's the mood. Cheers. This person who won't pay you for your labor, but will encourage you to pay for room and board in their house to do said unpaid job. Oh my God. It just keeps getting better. Free overnight babysitter. It's always a babysitter. Lakewood, looking for someone to come to my house while my kids are sleeping from 11.30 p.m. and get them up and on the bus for 7.45 a.m. I can't pay you, but you can rent a room for $8.50 plus $60 internet if it's more convenient for you. You have to be available to stay home from work if one of them is sick and can't go to school. I will not compensate you. We are loud in this house, so you'll have to deal with it. Shared shower in the main bathroom. Nothing about this is appealing. Not one thing. Come to my house from 11.30 p.m. to the next morning. But if I want to sleep there, I have to rent a room because that would be more convenient for me. Or I'll just sleep in my own house and get a job that actually pays me. This TikToker who seems to think they can build their dream wife. Well, I'm going to hate this. And apparently it was on a TikTok live. Wow, you got some balls. All right, let's see it. I'm going to hate this, but let's see your wife requirements. I would love to hear it. Under five feet. Oh, check. Wow. <laughs> I qualify. Is okay with five pounds a week pocket money. I'm out of the running. Cooks three times a day, only leaves house for emergencies. Okay. Not allowed to say no to, oh boy. Oh boy. Asks for permission before speaking. Only eats a thousand cal, oh my God. Okay, y'all, this can't be real. Only eats a thousand calories a day. Wants eight kids minimum. Is okay with pol polygamy. Polygamy? Is that the word? I know like a polyamorous, oh, polyamorous? Polyamorous relationship. Why can't I say that word? Take care of house when I'm on lad's holiday. Knows her cars, opens the car door for me. Can't be called Margaret. Is your ex named Margaret? What do you have against the name Margaret? It doesn't matter. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But you know why they do it? Guarantee this person went on live to do that because the engagement on that live would be stellar. Think about all the hate comments you're getting in that chat. People are riled up and you're probably playing it up like, no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Engagement, baby. I bet he's viral. Well played. This person who felt inclined to publicly complain about the free food that other people donated. How do you complain about anything free in general, especially food? Have you seen the prices of groceries? It's insane. All right. Wow. Okay. Let's peep these pictures. Free food boxes. That is so much food donated for free. That's incredible. I don't even know what this complaint is going to be because look at that. It's beautiful. But let's see who's going to ruin the day today. Oh my God. This person commented, they are a top contributor to this Facebook group. Is this all processed food? Nothing fresh. I'm looking, but not seeing actual real food. This is sad, but I guess it'll help if people are literally starving. <laughs> You go get fresh food donations or purchase it with your own money then. Be grateful there is still people like this in the community that want to help. This person helping and you complaining on the internet. Complaining about free food. I don't understand how you would have any complaint about that. Any, especially when it comes to donations. A lot of the times they ask for canned goods, packaged things, because yes, they are processed, but they last a long time. That's the point. I am looking to do a mutual agreement with a nanny. Why is higher in quotations? First red flag. My idea is hire a nanny that live in my house. This nan, okay, why is everything in quotations? This is freaking me out. This nanny, just, it is what it is. This nanny will be taking care of the kids' dogs during my absences. Meanwhile, when I'm home, she can be free to her personal life. Payment will be no cost. Oh, I understand, there's no payment. Payment will be no cost of rent, internet, water, electricity, gas, parking. Normally the kids will be majority of the time asleep. She nearly have nothing to do. Literally can even sleep. I just need someone to make sure they are safe. If interest or have a better idea, please comment below. Background check will be needed. Drug test as well. Only single female without childs. Need to be completely independent. Okay, well, wow, I'm intrigued by not having to pay rent or living expenses because that would be wonderful. Um, 
so I don't earn money, but I can't necessarily go out and get a job because I have to be here at home watching the dogs and the kids. The only way this would benefit anyone is if they are able to still go and work somewhere else. That's the only way because we need income. We need income. Unfortunately, wouldn't it be nice? Guys, I went on this like a deep hole, a deep hole of thought the other day <laughs> about money. And I was like, man, how dumb is money? Like money is just paper. Money is just printed paper. So it's like, if you really think about how the world, how some parts of the world or people in this world don't have money, isn't it kind of like print more? Like. It's a piece of paper. We can't just print out some more paper, but like it's just paper. Money is paper. Money's just, it's not even a thing. It's paper or it's a transfer or it's a check and you put it in your bank and then it's just a number. Like the thought of money, I went down a freaking spiral the other day. Like thinking about money and what it is. Anyways, and no, I was not high or drunk. This is just what goes on up here. I am 51 looking for a submissive woman who aims to please me and take care of all my needs. Yeah, I'm not trying to be your mother. Must be educated and thick. Must know how to cook because you will be cooking me three meals a day. No ugly duck women. No BBW women. Can't wear any weaves, lashes, or makeup. Weekly allowance of $100. This actually makes me nauseous. Ugh. It makes me sick. Like, I, I don't even want to exist with people like this. I don't want to share space with you on this earth. I don't want to share oxygen. I am looking for a personal assistant to help with household items and errands. Two to five hours a week at $16 to $18 a week. Must have driver's license, trustworthy and dependable. Let's say you worked one hour for five days of the week. You're getting paid four dollars an hour and if you have to drive does that mean it's using your car and your gas no i am endeavoring in my quest what a way to word that to find someone to regularly clean my one bedroom apartment as my last attempt failed again i offer no monetary compensation but rather will provide as i have stated my good company and excellent conversation. Okay, great. Pay me with your excellent conversation and I'll let my landlord know that I can't afford rent because I got paid with excellent conversation. From playful to deeper discussions about the meaning of life or lack thereof and so forth, I will also supply soothing music. Well, that changes everything. Thank you for responding and forwarding any leads. It is deeply appreciated. That's a tough one. Can't say I would necessarily want to go over to someone's house and clean their whole apartment just for some soothing music music and good conversation. If anything, I'd rather you not speak to me. Like when I clean, I am in my zone. I love cleaning, okay? You know, have some music, have a podcast, dancing out, vibing. I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna have a conversation. Honestly, if I was gonna do you the favor, leave me alone. I am looking for a reliable 16 year old driver or older that can be my assistant for the next week. Qualifications include clean driving record, know how to drive stick shift, know how to not look at their phone and drive. Okay, yeah. Not a smart car that is quiet, looking for a reliable car that can take me to doctor's appointments, grocery store, and business meetings. I am kind, I'm a little rude, cause I have some, oh. Well, at least they're admitting it. Because I have severe internal pain from being on life support the whole month of August. That's that's really sad. I am pretty down to earth and mellow. Worked since I was 12 in different jobs here and there. I am looking for a kid who talks about TikTok trends and drives a Tesla. Prefer old school vibes. This is weird. Need it for the next week due to my car being broken down. I have money but really can't waste it due to lawsuits I am in due to stalkers. Okay death threats sent to my social media and lies from the media. I will not be paying a kid 15 bucks an hour when my father made me sell mistletoes for $1.50 in the 90s. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Let me know if you have any kids in mind. Hours include 9 to 12 a.m. and probably 4 to 10 p.m. span. I like to go at night to run errands less stressful. This is creepy a little bit. Something ain't right about this post. Like taking the no compensation out of it, okay? Take that out of it. It's a little creepy. You might be a lovely person going through a hard time, you know, but it's coming off a little bit of a wave the red flag. You know, looking for free stuff. Okay, wow, that's a lengthy list and I haven't even read it. But let's get into it. Let's power through. Bed, king or queen, need two free ones, okay? Two beds. 
fire pit free, dining table free, outside table set big one free, vacuum cleaner electric with a straight long hold free, desk free, bedside tables free, towels free, toilet holder for paper roll free, TV until free, TV until smart TV free, plates free, outside pool free, lounge folder out bed free, tents free, swag free. What is swag? Like swag? House cleaner stuff free, bowls free, knives free, t TV wall hold free, electric scooter free, freezer big one. Bro, that was a tongue twister. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. You need everything free. Literally everything. Okay. Nanny groom. Opportunity for someone who loves kids and horses to come help with two primary school age kids and three well behaved Ponies? Oh my God. Kids and horses. What? Hours can be flex. Hold on. I got a, I got a burp. Oh. Hours can be flexible depending on your availability. Wow. Thanks. Role includes school pickup and drop off, help getting ready for school next day, meal prep, exercising ponies, and help with their general care. 15 pounds per hour with opportunity to keep your own horse or pony on site. So you're technically looking for someone who might have experience with horses or have their own horse. 15, someone commented 15 pounds an hour for two kids and three ponies. Wow. Maybe try doubling that hourly rate. Uh, yeah. Two primary school age kids, you know, that's a lot to handle. It can be. That's a lot of work. Adding three horses to that? What a combination. What a, what a combo there. 15 pounds an hour. That's like a slap in the face. Looking to get the Joker on my forearm. Anyone want to do it for free? Bragging rights. I'm assuming this is a tattoo. You want to get the Joker tattooed on your arm and that's a bragging right for the tattoo artist? They don't care. All right. Oh God. Facebook marketplace is a nightmare filled with choosing beggars. Someone is selling their Beats Solo Wireless 3 for $150. Is this item still available? Yes. I'll give you $20 for them. Was that supposed to be 200? Nope. Good luck, my dude. Trade for surfboard? No. But how much are you selling your surfboard for? I haven't posted it yet, but I am planning to post at $200. Okay, how about $20 for it? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, at least they laughed at it. Even they were like, you know what, damn. I got respect for you. That was good. You did a little reverse psychology and you're right. You're right. I would not accept $20 for my $200 surfboard. So why would you accept my offer of $20? That was, that was good. Let me make this clear to everyone. We do not want to go to an animal shelter. We are just looking for someone that has a litter of cats that my mom wants to see so she can pick one out and it has to be a male cat that is eight weeks old. No shelter. My mom does not want to go to a shelter. Sounds like your mom needs to stop being a choosy beggar. Ooh, suck it up and go to a shelter and find a kitten she connects with. Well, I really can't say it much better than that. Also going to a shelter, that is the best way to get a pet. I said the next pet, oh, poor Lila. Lila's 11, you guys, oh my God, I only have, so many years left with her, touch wood. Um, God forbid. In the future, if I ever get another dog or a pet, I am definitely going to rescue. Like it's on, I will not allow myself to not rescue a precious little animal as my next, as my next pet. So going to a shelter, that's a great thing. Well, these are choosing beggars. I'm always annoyed with choosing beggars. It's kind of laughable in a way because it's like, they can't be serious. It's funny, but not funny. It's actually rather annoying, but I'm easily annoyed. So this doesn't count. I'm out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.